elliptical galaxies. So elliptical galaxies look very different from spiral galaxies and Edwin Hubble clearly saw the difference and noticed that they were mostly shaped like an ellipse, hence the name, and our letter uh, designation is going to be a capital E for elliptical. In terms of appearance, there are some key characteristics to ellipticals besides just the shape. Uh, certainly smooth looking, there's like no distinct features when you're looking at a uh, elliptical galaxy. And shape-wise, you're looking at shapes that are round uh, to oval in shape. They can be quite oval in shape. So very nondescript. Composition-wise, uh, the stars are older, which tend to give them a reddish color. These are primarily population 2 stars, which means that they are first generation and composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. So that's telling us that uh, there's no new star formation. Otherwise we would see uh, younger stars than this. And the reason why there's no new star formation is because of the small amount of interstellar medium, that is the gas and dust uh, between the stars. There's very little gas and dust, so without any gas and dust, not much in the way of new star formation. In many ways, ellipticals are going to be similar to globular clusters in our own Milky Way and our uh, central bulge. So in some ways an elliptical is sort of like an exposed central bulge from a spiral galaxy. So it's no disk present. Um, similar uh, relationship with the central bulge and the halo, uh, the stars move in random directions. They all orbit the center, but uh, they all move in their own unique paths around the center. Like with the spirals, Hubble came up with subclassifications for ellipticals, and this is going to be based upon how uh, round or how flat the galaxy is. So E0 is where it is pretty much perfectly round, not much flattening at all. Squish it a little bit and you get somewhere in the E1 to E3 range. So no longer nice and round, so we've lost our perfectly round uh, galaxy. Now we've smushed it in a little bit to flatten it. And then E4 to E7, uh, the most elliptical of the elliptical galaxies. So the most distinction from being round. So these are quite flattened. Uh, so these are the uh, ways we categorize elliptical galaxies.